Hey guys, it's Adamo and Pete here. We uh, just got downtown. We're gonna do some outreach at the farmer's market, but first we wanted to tell you a little bit about what just happened. So we seen a cop in the rotary. Yeah, we're, and uh, we had the idea to go down with our signs, uh, police ahead, slow, you know, so we're holding these on the side of the curb for maybe five minutes. A bunch of bikers came by. Just want to give people a heads up, got a lot of honks. Right behind me is a Greenfield police officer. He is uh, parked in a rotary, so I'm warning motorists that there is police ahead. Yeah! Whoa. What's up, man? Thanks, man. But anyway, uh, after the bikers yeah, left, yeah, we think it's done. So then we go, we we start walking back, and and uh, squad car rolls up and parks in front of the motel where we're parked at, and uh, it's it's uh, Dan McCarthy. Well, first, McCarthy drove by the RV. We seen him right. drive by, and we waved. And he didn't. And then we were going to leave the hotel and we seen him parked out front. So we went into the lobby. Right, and we recorded. Yeah. We record him. Okay. No. What did he ask you for? No, I don't. What? Alright, thanks. Bye. What's going on, Officer McCarthy? Not much, how you doing? What are you doing today? What do you have there, sir? How are you doing? Good. Well, how are you doing? Good. What are you doing, sir? Can I ask what you're doing? Yeah. You sure. Do you mind telling me? Do you, is that for a warrant or something? You can just come and take the list of who's staying in a hotel. Do you need a warrant for that? Why do you even have interest in that information? Why do you need that information, sir? Would you like to have a conversation? We are audio and video recording you right I told now. Him in there. Yeah. Were you called here, sir? Looks like he's texting something on his cell phone right now. Just one of left, one of left pocket. You don't want to talk? Can we just talk? Why? Are you trying to intimidate us, man? So you just want to know who's in the hotel today? You know, if you'd asked me, I'd probably tell you. Well, I guess we could ask, is this in any way related to us? Piece of shit, man. What a piece of shit. And uh, it turned, so he leaves uh, soon after with a list of people who were staying at the hotel, their names, and all their information. And uh, you know we're like, hey, we're just asking you questions, and we, we're saying, what are you going to do with that list? Why do you need that information? And uh, do you need a warrant for that yeah, information? Yeah, is a question. And he, and he said, well, he, in response to, can we ask you questions? He said, you can ask me questions, but he he never responded to any of our questions. And uh, as you'll see in this video, but I mean, so we just want to touch base. This is the Greenville Police. We are two days from our trial <clears throat> of holding them accountable for arresting us for wiretapping when there was no such offense. Right. And now my parents are staying here. My parents came up for my trial because we're facing years in prison. And now he went and collected their personal information without a warrant. And this is the to same harass guy. Us. Yeah, this is the same guy who two months ago followed a demo and, and us around town. Uh, you can see that video at uh, youtubecom slash the cop block. And. Uh, who uh, in the past almost was fired, but he was not because at the time his dad was a chief, so he was able to stay on. So this is a guy who last night at our, at a, our uh, Know Your Rights meeting, a woman told us uh, she was victimized by him. So, you know, this is... Right, this is the same guy whose uh, dad promoted him and had the ethical review board of the police of Massachusetts find him $4,000 for his promotion. So, so anyway, real winner you are out. there. Just want to get this out in case, uh, you know, hopefully nothing else happens today, but, you know. Yep. See you. Appreciate it.